Here is part two of what you should be doing if your Canadian student visa has been rejected. Low credential value of the study. If the study that you are set to pursue does not follow the logical order per the AQF chart, that is you're not pursuing an education of a higher degree value, your visa is likely to be rejected. And if that is the case with your application, you need to ensure that your reasons to take up such a course is justified in your statement of purpose. Inadequate financials. If issues regarding your financial health have been raised by the visa officers, it is likely that you do not meet the minimum show money requirements. So for example, if your course is of two years, it is important for you to showcase that you are in full capacity to support yourself for the full duration of your stay in Canada, including your cost of living and your education. In the event that there is insufficient cash balance, what you can also do is consider getting yourself a sponsor or showcase additional documents such as your assets, your rental incomes or any kind of investments to strengthen your application. Not DLI approved. A school that offers you a letter of acceptance needs to be a registered Canadian educational institution. DLI or a designated learning institutions are those that are allowed by the government to host international students. Make sure that your institute falls under the DLI category. Most importantly, don't sit idle. Make sure you take out this time to strengthen your resume. Take up an additional project at work or take up a new internship. For further information on visa applications, contact TC Global.